and just like that it's ready to go today we are in brooklyn and we're going to be shooting super 8 film which i'm super excited about because last time it turned out really well but i definitely learned some things from my first time using the camera so one of the things that is i thought it would be more fun to actually have a subject to shoot so we're doing um we're going to our friend fran nerd studio she's a full-time illustrator here in new york and i'm really excited to get to see her studio for the first time and also like have someone to actually have as the subject of the video because last time i kind of was just running around New York with no plan and this time we actually have somebody to participate with us so I think it should be really really fun and I guess that's it we should get started So that's my plan for today is to get shots that are at least three seconds because last time I did such short shots that it kind of was like too staccato. And so I want to get it more fluid today and have like a better consistency between the shots. I said I wanted to get more movement and now I'm going to get another static shot. I'm doing it anyway. I think it looks cool. Got it. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, hi! Oh. Hey, Dave! This is Hello. my brother, David. How are you? I actually have a gift for you. Let me get this. Really? Out. Yes. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> you guys, look at this. This is crazy, Dana. Oh, my God. Yay. It's so nice. So my We're first so wash. <laughs> Can I put it here? Yeah. Look at this. So, but yeah, back to Super 8, talking about painting. But she actually is an illustrator, and so I thought it'd be really fun to use the camera. First, I should show you this. It's crazy, it's on auto mode. All you have to do is focus and everything else, like. Oh my God, but every second counts. Yeah, right? every second definitely counts. I hope this is bright enough. Do you think we can open? That curtain too. Both? Yeah. Yeah. Make it even brighter. Because this is like the, the one that I put in is like Kodak 50, I think. And it, it's supposed to be for like bright settings. And that's the issue I had with the last time I shot. Mm -hmm. I shot some scenes in the subway and it just came out so much darker than I expected. Oh, no. So let's see if this works. Oh, you look pretty. <laughs> I also love it because there's no audio on this. Yeah. So it's just like very, like you can make it like blissful and romantic and you can just like watch it and put a song on. And then you're like, wow, this is movie magic. Yeah. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I would be really nervous to shoot this bastard because I'll be like every second. I know. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place on. Do you feel that we got something strong? So heavy and so chunky. <laughs> yeah. I love this in it. And I saw you. is a amazing film photographer. He actually has a YouTube channel, Plug Ed Pavez. He has an awesome YouTube channel and it's all about like analog photography. Let's go eat pizza. Pizza! Bring the camera. <laughs> Now that 
last lunch. Pizzas! Oh my god. <gasps> it's bright enough! <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was Did awesome! It. Yes, I'm gonna eat this. Okay, we leave you here. So Fran just told us that the Botanical Garden is actually free during the week in the winter. So I have about a quarter of the roll of film left. And so we're gonna go to the Botanical Garden and look at some flowers. So one of the things that I realized, I was having a ton of trouble getting things in focus on this video and the last one actually too. And so then I realized that if I push and get, like push the zoom all the way on to the object or like the subject that I want in focus, I can focus on that and then pull back and then it's actually much easier because I don't know what it is about this camera, but like everything seemed in focus when it wasn't zoomed in and it was the only way I could actually get focus was zooming. So it's like, okay, so I'm gonna try to get this bridge in focus. And before I would have just gone like this and then put it to the max, like the figure eight. But now I'm gonna go like this, zoom into the bridge, get the focus on that and then zoom out, frame it. And I think it's like a much more effective way to get something in focus. I wish I could eat them. Yes, this is what I was looking for. up the roll and I thought we were gonna shoot two room rolls of film today but honestly I feel like that is plenty we met some beautiful people and also hung out with old friends and I feel like that was a very successful super 8 day and I'm excited to see how the footage turns out <laughs>